Welcome to Electra Online. Later on, we're going to see a whole lot more interplay, interaction, or should I say interrelationships between all the various trigonometric and inverse trigonometric functions. But first, let's take a look at a few very basic ones. So here, the first two basic ones are the following. The inverse sine of x plus the inverse cosine of x is equal to pi over 2 or 90 degrees. So when you add the inverse sine and inverse cosine of the same number, you'll get 90 degrees. Same with the tangent and the cotangent. If you add the, tan the inverse tangent of x plus the inverse cotangent of x, you also will get pi over 2 or 90 degrees. To show you an example of that, here we have, let's say that x equals 1 half. So you take the inverse sine of 1 half plus the inverse cosine of 1 half. Well, the inverse sine of 1 half is 30 degrees and, and the inverse cosine of 1 half is 60 degrees when you add them together. Indeed, you get 90 degrees. The same with the tangent of the cotangent. If you take the inverse tangent of 1 half and the inverse cotangent of 1 half, of course, you're going to need a calculator for that, you end up with 26.565 degrees for the inverse tangent of 1 half and 63.435 degrees for the inverse cotangent of 1 half. And when you add them together again, you end up with 90 degrees. So those are the basic relationships of the inverse trigonometric functions. And then, since we know that the sine of theta can be uh, set equal to some number, for example, the sine of 30 equals 1 half. And we know that the sine square of x plus the cosine square of x equals 1, or maybe what I should do here so that we don't get confused. Let me write theta and theta. That's probably better. So we know that the sine square of theta plus the cosine square of theta, theta equals 1. Then we can also write the cosine of theta as being equal to the square root of 1 minus x squared. We can write the tangent as being x over the square root of 1 minus x squared. We can write the cotangent of theta as the square root of 1 minus x squared over x. The secant of theta is 1 over the square root of x, uh, 1 minus x squared. And the cosecant of theta is equal to 1 over x. Those are simply the relationships between the various inverse trigonometric functions if we start out with the premise that the sine of theta equals x, whatever that number is. So for a given angle, the sine of that angle equals x, then for the same angle, the cosine, the tangent, the cotangent, the secant, and the cosecant can then be expressed in terms of these following expressions. Of course, that is because we realize that this is indeed true. So those are some of the basic relationships. We'll see a lot more of those later on, uh, more complicated ones, but at least this will get us a good start on understanding the interrelationships between the inverse trigonometric functions, and that is how it's done.